Hey, good morning, Algebra 1, periods 1, 6, and 7. Hey, today is the uh, 26th of March. It's Thursday. Uh, it's actually end of quarter 3. I hope to uh, get your grades posted up by end of today. Actually, I have till tomorrow, so you can still sneak some stuff in tomorrow also on quarter 3. If I do load the uh, 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 a 0 for whatever you have in quarter 3, please remember that you can always submit it after the quarter three actually ends. I can go back and put them in uh, even next week. So if you have stuff you still need to turn in from uh, 9.1, the worksheet, if you have not yet finished the 9.1 textbook assignment, uh, skip that. Let's move on to chapter eight. I don't want you to see you get too far behind. Um, if you don't have that one, after looking at the notes and the videos and the Khan Academy stuff, uh, skip that and move on. We gotta get on chapter eight. So you should be done with chapter 8.1, 8.2, and now we're going to focus on 8.3. So I put some stuff on the board here for you. Let me show it to you. Okay, so here we go. Uh, March 26th, of course, Algebra 1, uh, Chapter 8, Section 8.3. And you can tell that my markers are starting to die. All right, so here's the entire quadratic. f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So we spent 8.1 focusing on what the a does. That's a vertical stretch or a compression. Now you can think of this in two different ways. You can think of it as being pulled up or if it's gonna get skinny, like a is bigger than one, or if a is between zero and one, you can also think of it as being horizontally stretched. Okay, so, or you can think of it as being vertically compressed. Either way, uh, you can look at what A does in one of those two manners. And then we moved on to 8.2. Now, 8.2, that's the C on the end, and that moves the parabola up or down. Okay, it's called a vertical translation. So C, its mission in life is to move the parabola up and down. So we have it getting skinnier fat, and here we have it moving up and down. And then finally, today, 8.3, the B term in the middle. Now, what the B is going to do for us, and later when we learn to put the parabola into something called vertex form, we will notice that that term shifts the parabola left or right, a horizontal translation. And we're going to learn about how that works. So that's kind of where we're at. That's what should be going on. That's going to be our focus for today and probably for tomorrow. And we're going to put all of this together, and you will become quadratic graphing masters. And also, you're going to find that when you do graph these things, there are basically six things that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a vertex. I'm looking for an axis or a line of symmetry. I'm looking for either two x-axis intercepts, one x-axis intercept, or maybe no x-axis intercepts. I'm looking for a y-axis intercept. That'll always happen. And then I'm looking for a very pretty picture. So that's where I'm going with this. I want all of those parts. So when you see the parabola, you should be thinking like six things. So, message for the day, Algebra 1. <laughs> Let's get on it.